it's Don the Auction Professor here. Just got back from one of my pickers. Um, I thought I would show you what I got. Um, let me put this aside and I'll show you what I thought was the neatest. Um, this is one of the items I got. Um, I got, let's see, 20, 40, 50. I got like $62, I think, in $62 into everything I got today. Um, this is an old tin toy. I thought it was Marks. Uh, it does not say anything about Marks. It says U.S., U.K. patent applied for, made in Japan. Um, this is probably early 50s-ish. Um, what's neat about this is it's actually a cap gun. Caps go in there. Um, I'm probably going to put, say, 95 on this and see what I get for it. Oh, look, even the horses move when it rotates. So I don't know how it fires or where the button is or anything. Maybe it does it when you roll it. Um, either way, uh, I figure that's 75 bucks. This is more than what I paid for everything you're going to see here in just a second. Um, I talk about the Marks a lot. Uh, these are more Marks Indians. Um, I'll probably get, say, 5 to seven fifty a piece for them. They're painted. They're early ones. All marked. Um, somebody at one point probably paid a quarter for them, it looks like, on the bottom. Um, that's close to probably what I still have into them now. Um, one of the better pieces, though, it's a pre-war uh, harmonica. I paid three bucks for this. Um, the box looked really cool. Um, harmonica's in there. It's the original. This is probably about a $70 harmonica. Um, I don't know a lot about harmonicas, but I know the ones with the fancier boxes and the ones that look old like this with like what looks like leather on the outside, those are always good. Pre-war ones are the best. Um, it's in real good condition. It almost looks like it wasn't even used. Uh, it's a Horner. Um, literally like 1930s or 40s at the earliest or at the latest. I would say it's probably 30s. But again, I'll probably get like 70 bucks for this thing. You can look it up yourself. It's an auto valve harp by Horner. Uh, it's an organ tone. So uh, there's different um, notes that these play, um, different octaves. Um, I'm not sure which one this is, but I'm sure it's at least 70 bucks. Um, already more than doubled my money. This was in there. Um, this is hand-carved solid wood. It does have some damage, I think. It looks like maybe the antlers or its horns were broken off. Um, I just got a couple bucks into it. It's very nicely done. This thing weighs a ton. It's probably five or six pounds. Um, almost looks like there's a name carved in, but I'll have to look a little closer at it. Um, I'd probably get, say, 65 or so for this piece alone. Maybe it's some kind of stand or something. It almost looks like maybe you put a pipe in there or something. But uh, solid wood. It's all hand carved. Very detailed. Very unique. Broken or not, I'll probably still get 65. Um, the best deal, though, I think, out of that that was... Um, Quantity-wise is this. These are actually um, like duck calls. Duck calls. Um, Quaker Boy, uh, Sweet Butternut, uh, butternut um, Boat Paddle. I don't know much about these, but for the money I got into this entire lot, um, 62 bucks, I am not going to quibble. I'll probably get, say, 30, 40 bucks a piece for each one of these. There's quite a few in there. Um, there's a couple damaged ones. Oops, you can hear the noise turkey calls, duck calls, um, they look like they're all still in usable condition. And I'm not up on these that much, I'm not a hunter or anything like that, so uh, I'd imagine though I'd get several hundred dollars for all these. I mean there's a lot of them in here. There's one that's all chewed up from somebody's dog. Some of these look older. Um, I don't think I can do wrong. Somebody told me, he said these go somewhere on this or something, I don't really know. Triple Glass, uh, World Champion Triple Glass, H.S. Strut. I haven't looked these up again, but I'll probably five bucks a piece even for these, I imagine. I've had similar ones. Um, these were in there, too. I don't know why, but these sell, too. That's a spindle adapter, record 45 adapters. Even this kind of stuff I might put for $7.99 and still get $7.99 for it. Maybe there's another one in here. No, but even these pieces I'll get money out of. So, I mean, you see there's some good money here. Um... Since I was out, I did go buy a thrift store, too. Um, I, I try to kill two birds with one stone. I don't like driving in and out a lot. Um, I was out. There's a 10-minute drive from my picker's house to get to a thrift store, so I go by the thrift store. I didn't get a lot from the thrift store, but I got these. 50 cents a piece. Um, I'm sure I'll get, say, 8 10 bucks each for them, or I'll put them in a lot for $27.50. Those two are Dis Actually, that one's Disney, too. And then the Warner Brothers one here. But the Disney, I'll just, I'll probably get $27.50. I throw them in a lot all together. That's a two buck investment that charge them for shipping. They're all complete. 
um, tray board puzzles. Um, they sell well. These are 60s. I've had them back to the 50s and even a couple in the 40s. Uh, let's see this one here. This one's probably 50s. That looks 50-ish. Mary Poppins came out like 64. Yeah, 64. Um, this one, Cinderella, is from 1950, actually. So, yeah, these date from the 50s and 60s. This is original. This is 1950. Um, J. Marr makes them, and Whitman is ones that make these tray puzzles, the most of them. Uh, these are all Whitman. This is a J. Marr. Here's a J. Marr. Um, know the names on these. Know what you're looking for, because the age dictates some of these, too. Um, 1965. Look up your Roman numerals. You'll see Roman numerals in a lot of these things. But again, 2750, that was a quick turn right there. Um, you, I see these a lot. I paid a dollar for it at the same thrift store. I only went to the two places, my picker and the thrift store. This is a VHSC cassette adapter. It's brand spanking new, sealed. I paid a dollar for it. I'll get 30 bucks for this all day. I have three of these right now. I just sold one two days ago. Um, the low-end thrift stores, you'll see this stuff there. They dump them off. People think it's just junk. Or they won't even look. They'll just think it's a cassette tape. Um, or a videotape, VHS tape. Um, this is way better. 30 bucks. Um, Cross-stitch stuff sells. Um, California Raisins is popular. 35 cents I paid for this one. Um, I'll probably get 15 or 20 bucks for it. Uh, see if there's a year on here for you. Oh, there's no year that I see. Oh, 1988. So it's an original vintage first release. Um, you can actually do the stitches on there. But again, these are good. I've sold Disney ones from the stitching uh, pad cross stitch for 20, 30, 40 bucks. I sold the Gone with the Wind pack for like 47. So I buy these all the time when I see them. Um, this one, this is Trouble, the vintage original 60s. I haven't looked this up yet, but I'd imagine I'd get 15, 20 bucks for it minimum. Um, I think I paid a dollar or two for it. It's 1965, Koner Brothers. Uh, it's an original. You see, it's, it's the old style one. I got this, so I'll sell that too. And the last thing, thrift store, three bucks. I've talked about this game before, Mall of Madness. I always sell it. This is like the third one I got in two weeks. Um, I think I put one in another video, or I put a video showing one of these selling. Um, I sell these all the time. Uh, this one might go up sooner, only because it takes up some space. Um, I didn't want to pass up at three bucks, because I'll probably get 40 out of this real quick. Um, I'll, it'll have to be sorted through and, and straightened up a little bit, but we did a quick glance. It looks like all the main pieces are there, all the buildings there. The boards on the bottom, um, the building sides are on the bottom. It's um, electric piece actually works. Um, so it's pretty much just starting it out, bagging the items inside, and then sealing it and wrapping it all up after we list or take the photos to list. So quick mover. Um, you can see I buy the same items a lot. This is a different version than I had last time. Let me see if I can close this box a little better. Uh, again, there's three or four different versions of this available. Um, now I messed up the box. So I have to get it out get it back in there. There we go. Let's see what we can do here. Now that I totally messed this up, well, we'll get it in a minute. It's just a matter of straightening it up. It all fits in the box when I got it. But uh, you can see, uh, money is is there. Um, I see a lot of stuff all the time. I see the antique wise, newer items, um, even 90s and, and up items. But again, if they're small and I can make at least 20 or 30 bucks, I'll get them. The larger we go up in size or the more space I have to store, I want to make more money off them. So I don't buy some things. Um, I stick to areas I know for the most part or I'll look them up every time. Um, I don't buy everything even if it's worth money just because there's some areas I just don't care to mess with. Um, but uh, toys, media, all that kind of stuff sells very well. And there you have it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please watch, subscribe, and comment below. Thank you.